Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to record the screen of your Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, or the S10e, and I'm talking about being able to record anything and everything that you do. So first, let me show you how it works. It actually works pretty amazing. So basically, let's say that I want to record the home screen right over here. All I want to do is I want to take a screenshot right now. So the way I take my screenshots is I have them in the Edge panel. So I go right over there and I tap on the screen capture. But you can start the same process by pressing the power and volume down at the same time, which is also the screenshot shortcut button. So let me do the way I do it. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to use the soft key Edge. I'm going to tap on screen capture. And as you can see, as I do the screen capture, there is a button at the bottom here that looks like a video playback button. And of course, if you don't press it right away, it's going to go away. So let's do that one more time. I'm going to go into it. I'm going to tap on screen capture. I'm going to actually start on the record button. And then once that happens, the recording actually starts and you get this uh, controller over here on the screen that allows you to stop the recording. Now this controller is not going to show up in the final video. So let me do a couple things over here. I'm going to show you guys. Let's go to the settings, let's go up and down, let's go into the uh, advanced features, just tap on the smart capture, okay? So, and then let, let me go back home, then I'm gonna press uh, stop, and now that video has been saved into my gallery. Either that, or you can just pull the uh, notifications panel down and you'll see it right over here, video screenshot recorded. But anyway, let's go to the gallery, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch that uh, uh, video that I just recorded, I'm just gonna play it, and as you can see, it is smooth and it's, of course, high definition. Okay, so there we go. Alrighty, perfect. Okay, so you can easily create tutorial videos with this or, or even uh, submit to somebody uh, and ask a question. So once I record this video, I can tap on the share button and I can message this to somebody, I can post it online, I can do whatever I want. So how do you get this done? So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to your app drawer and you want to scroll over to the Samsung drawer. You tap on it and you go to the Galaxy Store. If you can't find the Galaxy Store, you just search for it right over here. It's going to pop right up. So if you tap in uh, Galaxy, the Galaxy Store is going to show up. You go right inside. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to download the Good Lock application, which is right over here. Okay, so you tap on Good Lock. And then you go inside and you install the application. Once you install this, you open it up. Now, when you open this up, you're going to see a lot of things all over the place. The only application that you want to be able to record your screen is the nice shot option. Now, when you click on it for the first time, it's going to take you to the store. From there, you're going to actually install this. And once you install this, that's it. That functionality gets activated when you take a screenshot, which is the one I showed you guys just over here. So if I tap on screenshot, Boom, you've got that record button right there. We also have this number button you can tap on, and that takes a screenshot of whatever you were focused on, and also you can tag, uh, add tags to that uh, photo. For some reason, uh, that might be useful. So I can add a tag, fix that, Saki tag. I can click on plus. Now that's an added tag. I can save this, okay? It goes to my gallery as a screenshot, as usual, right over here. But when I pull it up, I'll see tags attached to it, uh, which you can see right over here, uh, which says One UI Home and Saki Tech. And obviously I can do that anywhere that I want. So if I go to calculator over here, I can go to my screenshot, I can tap on it, and then I can tap on the tag, and then I can just add a uh, calc tag. There's also a pre-selected one right over here. Click Save, go back to the gallery, okay right over here, and then when I swipe up, I'll see the tags at the bottom over here. So that's fantastic. But the main thing in this video was about the one shot feature, uh, which allows you to record the screen as you please. Okay, so that's absolutely great news if you wanna start using this feature. Now let me go back into Good Luck. I'm gonna show you one more thing real quick. If you go to the Good Luck feature uh, uh, app and you scroll down, you go to Nice Shot, uh, you do have some options. You can go to the safe format, which can be JPEG or uh, PNG. And this is just for the screenshots, uh, the one that used the tags. And then you can also exclude the system UI when you're making a recording. That means it removes the indicator and the navigation bar. So you're not gonna see the navigation bar when you're recording the screen. You can delete the file after you share. When you tap on this one, you can also record the sound. Uh, you can mute the sound, you can do the system sound, or you can do system sounds and mic. And if I tap on this one, you can pick between medium, uh, high, or low quality if you're pressed for space. 
And then with the tags that I was talking about, if you tap on this one, you can disable it uh, so it doesn't show recommended tags, okay? Now when I disable this, and if I go over here, and if I tap on this one, and if I tap on this button, it's not gonna show you any recommended preset tags. You can just create your own tags. Uh, that's all gonna be up to you, all right? Enable or disable. But that's a couple things you can customize under the nice shot option. Now, it is essential that you understand that this is official from Samsung. So, good luck is in fact created by Samsung. So, this is not a third party application, it is directly coming from Samsung. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy S10, see the link in the description box down below. This is an official Samsung case and it's a fantastic case. So check the links below and now let's move on. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.